Oh, so, sorry. So, so the vibrator brings up the rear of the probe. Huh. <laughs> okay. So the vibrator will be taking the rear? Yeah. Oh, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's the whisperer. Good thing he's not a screamer. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. You guys are... You guys are... Great. <laughs> and the most to drink tonight in two years. If somebody's going to start playing round three, you'd be like, oh my god. I'm going to drink it tonight. And then you, today, today we, you guys have probably drank the least I've ever seen. I think we've had five drinks total, four drinks total. You find yourselves in the midst of a traditional city sewer. Uh, uh, okay, before we go any further, uh, is there a weapon such as a bat or a crowbar before we go? Any work in the drug paraphernalia? <laughs> You you can uh, take the leg off of a table if you want, or you can take one of their guns and. Don't, don't yes. tamper with the evidence. But you will be tampering with evidence if you do that. Don't don't do that. I take a leg of the table. Don't. Oh, okay. Uh, and Max, did you have a question? Um. Yeah. Max takes a gun. You're taking a gun. Yes. Okay. He takes the gun out of the guy's holster that wasn't used. Right. Okay. And, and, a, and a magazine or whatever he's got. So whatever, he's whatever he's got, he's got it's a Glock, 17 shots, traditional. <coughs> okay. <laughs> you know how this works. Right. What do you need a gun for? Three round burst, uh, double tap. Right now I can't rock it. <laughs> not, that I don't, not that I think I'd want to rock it in the sewer. I can rock it. You. You've got a good strength and, and good fighting, if I'm not All right. mistaken. All right. You want the bar? You feel naked, though. The bar would be nice. I can do okay, so don't take the gun. Take the bar. I'll take the bar. And I'll use my slingshot. With take the, the bar. I'll take the pistol. Okay. Okay. No, wait, wait. okay. All right. So don't take the gun. I take the bar. All right, so marching order is tank and nerd in front. Tank armed with the, the bar. Mm -hmm. Nerd with the slingshot. Andy and Brian in the middle. Okay. And then the vibrator in the rear. <laughs> with, with, a blunt, uh, with a blunt weapon. And you have a blunt weapon. Gotcha, Whisperer. Yes, Brian, I might need you to vibrate me into a rocket. No, I have telekinesis. I, I throw you. Right, you just throw me. You drop you down into the sewers? Yep. It uh, is... What an incredible smell you've discovered. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, that because, is that because we're taking you in the rear? Does anybody have the power of lubrication? Say again, Triple J? Does anybody have the power of lubrication? Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, well, with all the slime and stuff in the sewer, I don't think you really need any lube. It is precisely how you imagine a sewer might be. No. There is wastewater running through. There's rain runoff. It, P it, people it's always clean. people you have used it for trash in the past. You see discarded gum, cigarette butts, coffee well, cans. The, the, uh, that's great. <laughs> that is uh, and you you see a, a little bit of blood. There's a bit of a trail. Oh. And uh, you, it's, it actually doesn't even require an intuition check. Whoever was um, was walking back really did not seem to be paying attention or just taking precautions. This is New York City, right? This is New York City. <laughs> you, you end up traveling through the sewers probably for a good 35 minutes. Wow. And uh, make me a, an intuition check. No, not to burst your bubble, but these are not... It connects to the main. You, you find yourself connecting to the main. Oh, snap. Eight. What? Eight. So? I rolled 100. Did you roll 100? I rolled yeah. a zero, zero, and a zero. Yeah. Uh, intuition. Yeah. Go for it. I don't know if you could beat 100, but... Are you kidding me? So you All right. I rolled an 80. <coughs> I rolled 100. And you have no information you can hide from us. And a 78. All right. You no information you can hide from us. There's nothing I can hide at this point. I'm like, oh I'm like, God. as you. Nothing. I know nothing. Uh, you start off in a storm drain. It connects to the main. Uh, I'm pretty certain you you are in the worst of the sewers. This is a portion of the city that was probably built a good 80 years ago. I mean, the sides, imagine, are uh, made of brick in some point. Sometimes they were cement blocks, but the part where you're is a little bit older, and it's made of brick. And then all of a sudden, you just stop in your tracks. Um, the nerd sees it immediately. Do you see that, he asks. Actually, he says, do you see that? I imagine he'd say something like that. Um, it is not clear to any of you at first, but it's kind of like one of those... Um, three-dimensional paintings where you stare at it for a long time and then the image of the dolphin becomes clear. That's totally appropriate. I've never seen, I've never gotten a real story. 
<laughs> what you see is the outline of a door that sort of corresponds with the grout work of these bricks. And the nerd pushes forward on the door as if intuitively, and the whole brick wall sort of just slides open. You find an entrance into a deeper part of the sewer that has clearly been there for a very long time. Has anybody seen the movie Predator? Actually, I was a little Harry Potter. I was actually thinking yeah. of Beetlejuice. When they draw on the brick, I'm like, it's a chimney, and they draw a door and knock three times, and it opens, and it's like the spirit world. Okay, I would recommend that you go for a, a, a maybe a 70% um, resolution, and then you're going to want to scroll downward. No, you don't have to let go. You find I yourself. <laughs> well, you haven't done a whole lot with maps before. No, I haven't. You have uh, found yourself in the antechamber of a of a place that is uh, sort of crafted. It is well designed. Um, it looks far newer than the rest of the sewer system. Uh, if you didn't know any better, you might think that this was somebody's lair. Super villain hideout. What you see <laughs> is uh, you see three. <laughs> uh, you see three doors: one to the north, one to the east, and one to the west. I take with the box. And a bunch of uh, empty, rotting crates. What's in the box? You can spend some time looking through if you like. And of course, you also notice. You notice blood stains uh, in front of all three doors. They all appear to be fresh. The doors are um, sort of uh, met metallic, and you can see through. They're like portcullises. Okay, I just pronounced it. Question? Peek through the one on the left. You peek through the one on the left. Um, okay. Make me a uh, intuition. Oh, I'm gonna roll on the one now. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else speaking? Yes. Yeah, I'll kind of do the, we'll do the low. 55, the which is intuition, it is remarkable. Check it. I got 92, I think that's a yellow. Mm. I'm a greener. 52. Nice. I uh, bonked my head on the bars. Too <laughs> 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 much energy. Yes. Yeah, I got a yellow. So your 92 um, has caused you to see something in that hallway. It looks like some sort of uh, like trap door pit kind of item. You're not exactly sure, but it does look like a bit of a trap or a pit. I got a bad feeling about that. And if you scroll to the left, you can see a little farther where that leads to the end of the hallway. And it sort of takes a turn to the left. All right. And there's enough, and this is what I actually see. That's what you actually see. <laughs> uh, no. No electrical atlas here. Is there any lighting in here whatsoever? Uh, there is. There, there is a bit of a glow. Yeah, and you can light source uh, from from the walls. Yeah. Okay. All right. It looks like there's a trap door right in front of this. I don't see any blood going down that hallway. All right. So we go peek the other one. Yeah, let's go take a look at the other one. Top one. Top one. All right. Make a peek, and you see. You gotta scroll up. I'm getting there. I'm sorry. Looks use, like. Uh, can I use my sound manipulation to s listen for any movement? I could use my sonar to listen for any movement. You, you can. can remember that you have to take off a usage if you're going to do that. What is a wood wall? Yeah, I'm down to a. What is that far wall made of? 20. It looks like it might just be like a wood facade or something. It's a, it's a wooden wall. It's a wood paneled wall. Maybe, yeah, a wood paneled wall is a good description. Is this the 70s? Can we go back in time already? <laughs> He says, is it the 70s? Did you want to roll, Triple J? Uh, I got 20, so I'll wait and blow it all on the thing that's killing people. Okay. He's going to blow it all on the rear. Uh, let's look. Do you want to look through the right one? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. And the hallway proceeds all the way and then turns to the right. Uh, well, back the way we came. Yeah, it would appear to me that those probably are just small rooms. Well, this, yeah, these probably, you know what? This goes down. This goes down. I bet these still went up. No, because we came no, in. The we came into the bottom. Well, then they could go down. So sure. Well, either way, I like that wood panel. I don't see any other wood thing outside of this room. We don't see so any wood. Let's, let's go to the fancy wood panel. 
Okay, how are you gonna? Uh, do we hear anything? Do I hear anything from down either, from either any of those three areas? Scuffling? Roll, right? roll real quick. Do we do one for each? No, no. We'll just do one for all. That is a 97? Nothing. Dead quiet. Okay. <laughs> I hear an iron in there. <laughs> so you're going north? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the, the, the portcullis is very strong. How are you going to get rid of it? Uh, you lift, you lift it. You, I, will, I will assist you mentally. Yeah. My, uh, telekinesis. telekinesis? What's your strength? Sixteen. So you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger's strength. Eight hundred pounds is what you can lift. Mm -hmm. This thing is a little heavier than that. What's your telekinesis? I can lend my twenty-six strength to Mike. That that would do it. Are you stronger than Mike? I bumped it up this time. He bumped it up this one, yeah. Well, I can help without having to physically be there too. So. All three of you then? All three of us. All right. Then if this doesn't work, I'll just shake it into pieces. I make sure I wear my. Oh, rubber I have a thirty-six. Oh, very good. So wait, there's three people going to be lifting this? Two, two are lifting, and one of them is using telekinesis from the back. And then I'm going to be on ready for whatever's going to jump out. Okay. I'll lower my, sh I'll lower my shields to this. It's like fire and lasers. Mm -hmm. uh, you've keeping an eye on uh, our six. Okay, you're keeping an eye on a six. Uh, the the portcullis raises. It seems a little tough for a moment, but you easily lift it up off of its moorings and... Uh, you sort of toss it to the side, discarding it. Oh, so we remove the portfolio, so it can't close behind us. You guys are so s strong that you ripped it out I of its like moorings. Nice job. Of course, okay. nothing else can be seen in the end here either. <laughs> you want everything? Yes. All right, where do you now? Uh, ten. Jake, one more all the way up there. Oh, sorry, brother. How's that? Ten kids up to the <laughs> corner. Who's the sneakiest one left around that corner? Peter's around the corner. Oh, oh. actually, it was whoever has the best agility, I would think. So it's uh, whoever has sound manipulation and can go quietly. And can muffle his footsteps. Ah. Anybody, I, can, anybody I, can, can go. I can do that too. I can muffle the, the sound by the by vibrations that come off. Not the sound itself, but the waves. Go, Chris. I think you, you'd you be able actually to actually do it, off. but it might be yellow. I, I think sound manipulation is perfect for that. Vibration is more, uh, you emit energy. Go, Triple J. Well, I can put a mic up there. That's true. Effectively negating, negating any sonic or vocal bass. Power. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let Mike go forward while I muffle his footsteps. Okay. Because I really don't want to be in front. Roll me, roll me some manipulation. A green will do the trick. Yeah, well, it's a 53, but I have got a... What am I? Remarkable now? Yep, that's a green. So, uh, Tank, you are now walking, and it's really weird because every step you take, even if you jump up and down, makes absolutely zero sound. That's kind of cool. Uh, so you're walking around the corner? Uh, I'm walking up to corner. All right. And Take a look. The okay. Uh, and here is hey, uh, what you see. Pit trap. Looks like a pit trap. Okay. And oh yeah, and you can see around the corner that way a little bit. If you scroll up a little bit, you can see more. Or you can reduce your zoom. Up to you. So I tell them from peeking around the corner, I see another room that appears to have a pit trap in front of it and a, another pile of boxes and what appears to be at least a room that goes straight ahead or a hallway that looks to go straight ahead. Well, I can get you over that pit trap. You can probably but I could. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to move up to the entrance to that pit trap. Okay. So why don't we all fill up to that corner? We'll fill up, and everybody else fill up behind can, me. We'll, we'll be one corner. I, I, I examine the wood paneling to see if there's a door concealed in it or behind it. All right. Uh, roll your intuition on the door. Roll your intuition. And I'd like you all to make an agility check. Uh -oh. Okay, my intuition is 65, which is, I believe... I have a 37. Oh, wow. 65 is a, a 66 plus being yellow. Ah, all right. I don't think that's going to help. Would you want agility? Yeah. Yeah, I failed my agility. 35. I'm in trouble with you, too. Okay. All right. Wait, uh, if you got a 35, increase, because of your intuition check, increase that rank by one. Does the 35 help you? Oh, my. I failed five by one. All right. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm green. Then. All right, that's good. Who got who? Who did not get green? All right, looks like Brian Baird and Andy. Okay. Seven does not quite work. Uh, what you see slide out of that wood paneling is a perfectly crafted steel serrated blade, which sort of reaches out its spinning blades and chops those who are within range, um, which at this point would be, mm, well, I'm thinking everybody's pretty close at this point, so I think everybody might get a swipe. Who failed? I had said I moved up to the door. You moved up to the door? All right. I moved up to the pit trap, sorry. Okay, so we'll have you out of the range then. But I think everybody um, else might, who failed their agility is going to hit. And I made my agility, by the way. I, oh, yeah, you're I fine then. Agree. So just Brian Baird and, and Andy? Yeah, thank uh, no, I failed at a seven. Seven? Okay, and you yeah, failed okay. too? The damage on this is 30. It's very sharp. You're all cut. Okay, I have a plus two CS protection. What does that actually mean? Um, a plus two to protection from, what is that from? Forming a vibratory shield that provides us a plus two CS protection. Oh. Protection to make the heart, hero harder to hit as weapons are thrust aside by the field. Oh, you have your shield up, right? Yeah. Okay, what was your vibration power? 63. Eh, Mark congratulations. Six. I guess it actually six. Oh, it's, it's negated by the rank of the power. So what we're doing for these purposes is that your shield is worth a power of 63. Um, okay. And therefore, a power of 30 does no damage to you, but it does dispel the shield. Okay. So your shield is now gone, but you took no damage because you had your shield up. And the penitent man will pass. What? Only the penitent man will pass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, trap, the trap does not retract. Once it expends, it's done. Oh, it's expended as far. It's just sitting out there, not moving out. Yeah. So who's the damage done? Just, uh, so just Andy and I think uh, Triple J took the damage as well. So let me ask you a question. This knife is, is it something? I mean, how big is it? It is large. I mean, you can see from the scale that it's probably three of the nerd, right? So it's probably like 15 feet diameter. Oh, you think you can use it as a spear? <laughs> I don't know how he could hold something easily a 15... He might not even be able to fit through some of these yeah. few hallways. I put my shield back up. So it's almost like, <laughs> okay. how did this thing get down here? It, like, it was set up as a... What if it was crafted down here? Uh, is there anything else particular about the wall? It was forged. Not that you can tell. Anything we can tell it, it looks like it was just a contraption that was designed to hold a... Um, a blade. It, you don't see any additional it. exits or anything like that that come out of it, secret entrances or anything. Your good intuition <laughs> check didn't reveal anything else. It revealed me that can hurt. Yeah, that's true. So, is there anything particular about the material that this, this weapon is made out of? Steel. No. Serrated steel. Serrated steel? Sharper. Hmm. It's not in so it's, it's, it's What's that? Is my arm still intact? Yeah. It was so, yeah. Like it wasn't so, yes. So no, no, your arms are fine. Definitely sharper, but it is not a normal. Like most knives, blades, swords are never serrated. Mm. So that is very unusual. Well, this could be like the serrated. Serrated is a cheap way to make it so you get sharper. Yeah. So you don't have to sharpen it. No, but serrating something is harder than creating a straight edge. Mm. Well, since you're tearing it, you're not really cutting it. But think of the craftsmanship that required that's required for somebody to serrate a blade that's 15 feet. He may have just like serrated. It, no, it does appear that this place is well designed with a lot of time put into it based on the portcullis trap. and the, the trap. Oh. Very well crafted, indeed. Trap. I think that's a fair uh, assessment, a so good, a good say, assessment. It's a <laughs> All right, so you've, uh, you've braved one trap. What happens next? All right, so we, we are, I'm standing in front of the pit, and when I hear this thing whirl around and whack them, and... Was your agility roll good enough to consider having wow, to go behind us there? Uh, mine, mine was a 63. Farther south, you to mean? Left, so I could have easily probably jumped To the, to the left, there's a wall. It's just a wall. Where's the laser point? Like this right here? That's all wall. Yeah, we have no idea which, which jet point. Not the point. point. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah it's, a spot, it's just foggy there. Yeah. Right to the... And north that's, north. that's what we call the fog of wall. <laughs> fog of wall, yeah. <laughs> all right, so... What's the, uh... Oh, there, maybe that'll help. A little bit. All right, so let's investigate the pit a little bit and 
see what we see. It looks like it's possible to get around that pit hmm. on the marble. I'll just throw it. I'll just lift you over. Yeah, no, no, I'm okay with lifting me over. <laughs> no way I'm you thinking walk. about the rest of you guys. Okay. Yeah, be careful I can lift there. everybody over, and then I can just fly. Can fly. fly. Okay. If there's not enough room to fly, I'll fly. All right. Uh, what do we see there, Mr. Draw? Mr. DM? So you moved, are you sneaking around it? Well, we're going to take a, we're going to see what we can see from there. Okay, very good. So from here, like where uh, Max is right now, Mm -hmm. uh, you can see a bit farther like that. Ooh, what's that? What's that? It seems like some sort of contraption. It looks like it's got like it seems like it's uh, got spiky ends and there's some ropes that are very tightly drawn right now. Like a bow. Possibly. <laughs> it could be another trap. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's another trap. Uh, hey, why don't we take one of those? Why don't we take one of those boxes and hurl it at it? Stop reading my mind. <laughs> Literally, the exact oh, yeah. same thing. <laughs> mind transfer. <laughs> great minds, buddy. Great minds. That's a great okay, idea. Ryan, we need you to move one of those boxes. Boxes. Put the box down there, buddy. You do pain. Move one of those boxes. I, I do it with my negative two because of my field, and if I fail, I just do it again. All right, and uh, eventually it succeeds, and what it triggers is a whole wall of spikes that sort of um, s slam down where somebody might have walked through, but you have now disabled the trap. And I will just cause that trap to disappear. All right, uh, do we see anybody else off to the right? No, uh, the hallway does continue off to the right, um, but you can only see so far... It stretches to about this far. Uh, and I'm glad we are being for quiet, too. <laughs> Adam, please hold it. Oh, sorry. It's okay, you can back out of all you want. Cause she's really another You see another hint of a trap to the, to the, to the right, to the east. Trap boy. Me? Yeah, why don't you go jump in front of that? Take this box with you. Ryan, you I throw a box. Oh, would you like some help with it? Yes, I throw a box. <laughs> with, my, with mind bullets. Uh, and one more box is uh, exposed, and you get rid of the trap as well. It triggers nasty uh, spikes go flying into the wall. Probably would have been really painful. So now you can go east or you can go north. What do you guys want to do? Up or east? Go north. Well, we did just to see, uh, north. Okay. I don't like leaving all these openings behind us. Who's le who's leading? Is last time we were being investigated, one of your openings behind us, it got us into a shitload. I assume Max is leading with uh, the nerd behind him. Yeah, Max, nerd, etc. All right. Everybody else, plug rear. Okay, tell me. Vibrator. Do you guys like uh, this order right here that I've set you up at? Something like that. Love it. All right. Is there anything of, of note in the trip with Pat? The, the sprung the spike trap. Uh, the wire is particularly expensive. You notice it's some sort of metallic, high-intensity wire. Can we take it? Uh, you could. How long is it? It's probably 20 feet wrapped up. I'm going to take 20 feet of wire. Well, at this point, I'd like you all to make an initiative roll for me. Oh! I'll roll three dice for that. 81. Did I get the wire yet or not, Bob? Uh, no. <clears throat> you just only began. Oh. Hang on, let me oh, choose. Oh, I get a roll of D10, right? Uh, yeah, whatever your uh, initiative is, it's a multiple of your uh, of your intuition. So I think yours is D10. Mine is, yeah, because I got a, a five. Kind of worse. A little. What'd you get, buddy? So well, it has to be nine. Did you get two dice? Yeah. I got nine. I got three dice. So Ooh, I think it's your own 19 is... Oh, oh, okay, just making sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, Go ahead and enter your own. At least I didn't beat you this time. I rolled three <clears> dice and got nine. <sighs> oh, yeah! Not good. Oh. I type better. I type better. Talk better good. Uh, good. Remember to go to the other hit I know. Did you hit the wrong enter? No, I have no luck here. Mike the tank? No. Uh, Mike tank? Because whatever box, whatever. Uh, Chris is eight. Adam? I am five. Fiber. Yeah. Josephine's. 
Uh, who else do we have? Bad guy. Well, features. Glad they have zero. Are you still there? Yes. You, you just did stuff. That's, that hurts no, me. I don't, that pisses me off. Everybody's in? Yeah. Okay. So, so I, I gave up three cash in the rod. Uh, let me show you what you see. Yeah. Why is that not giving me love? Oh, I see why. I'm still okay, selected. Three oh. I don't have any hit with it. I mean, I so, oh, uh, maybe... How strange. Five years, baby. Well. Objects and tokens. Reveal areas. She's the party. I'm not actually It's always on my turn. Oh, there okay. we are. Woo! Whoa! Whoa. It seems like there are just a host of like critters. In this room now, you see uh, a grouping of uh, rats. Uh, you see beetles. You may even see a black widow spider. Uh, you notice they're a little bit larger than uh, normal size. They're, they're like half the size of you. They're about three feet in, in height. And um, Josh Leonard, you're, you're up first. Uh, all right, so I'm going to give my, my rod to Mike. Oh, to the so I'm to the mm -hmm. I guess I'll shoot my charge. Um, okay. Guys, any suggestions on my target? Uh, the closest one. The closest one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I see a black widow that makes me more nervous. Yes, about. the black widow. All of them? Okay, I'll aim for the black widow. Okay. Um, it is. No, I don't because he has the stick. When I shoot, I only get one. It's a little, it's a little smaller, but um, you think you can hit it on a on a green still? Or should I run up and just punch it? You can just run in there and fist, you know, swing like a wild. All right, I'll go in and do a fist of fury. Because then you can take out three <coughs> instead of one. And then get killed. Got it. As long as you do it, not me. So you're positioning yourself like here. Uh, uh no, close. The others come, come a little closer. I'll like here. Oh, sorry, that's not the right guy. I'm grabbing you. Where do you want to be? Back down into the right one. Each. Like that? Maybe to, somewhere around there. Can I, hit, I can hit at least two there, right? Yeah, you can hit three if you go like here. That's fine. That's what I'll do. All right. All right, so. You got three uh, fighting attacks. I assume you're picking one per each target. Uh, go ahead and declare that beforehand. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one for target. Okay. Okay, first one. With my newly enhanced incredible fighting. Oh, and I have the charge punch, uh, which I succeeded on for all of my um, power stun improvements. Oh yeah, that's right. So you get a plus one shift. So do I run, do I do fighting or do I do the power? To hit, you are going to do fighting. Okay. The power will be the extra damage that you do. Uh, you have to roll to see if you charge successfully, expend your power, and then roll fighting to see if you hit. And then if you hit, you do strength plus the power of your... All right, so I have to charge the power. Yep. I thought I always charged the power. Mm. I only rolled... Oh, okay. We could do that without rolling to see if you charge the power. I mean, it, it seems like it's a no-brainer. Yeah. All right, but it's then... Yeah. Okay, it's your own fist. That's fine. All right, so my fighting. 82. <laughs> With my incredible fighting, 82 puts me into the yellow. Well done. Okay. So you're doing some damage. Second guy, 38. I'm incredible. Still puts me in the green. Nice. And the third guy, 53, puts me green again. Wow, don't even roll for damage. These creatures are just crispy critters. You smell some smoke, and you have just eliminated <laughs> some of the critters. <laughs> Mr. Tank, you're up. That's not a smell you really want to have. Max, you're up. All right, so Max, um, let me ask you a question. What is it directly in front of me? Mm -hmm. Does that appear to be like a swarm of little things? That's correct. That's a swarm of rats. Tinier ones. Tinier ones? Mm -hmm. Yes. Max, is Max still quiet when he walks, or is that over? Uh, yeah, you still have it going on right now. Cool. Max mm -hmm. wants to literally jump in and just start stamping up and down on the rats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, where there's no sound or anything you made, so it shouldn't attract any of the other ones. Sure, although they can see you. They can see me, but mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, fighting roll. I also am singing in the background. It's a, technically, that's a slam, which is... Uh, oh, is that endurance? Sorry, that's endurance. 
Okay. I'd rather it be endurance. Yeah. Uh, green will uh, will do some serious damage. Yellow will stagger, and red will kill all of them. Okay, my endurance is amazing. Mm -hmm. You got nice sandwich. That's a big sandwich. And I rolled a 55, which is... Oh, it's green. It's very close. You do some serious damage. There are some several dead rats at your feet right now, uh, squeaking. Um, and it is at this point that you have moved far enough that you see something that looks very uh, familiar to you. It's the full gray. Oh, no, it's the gray. It's the gray. <gasps> Just a reminder of what that gray looks like. There he is. He looks malevolent. <clears throat> uh, if you scroll up, you'll get a better picture of the gray. And before anybody else can move... This is the thing that, that, we, that somehow desiccates mutants. We think. Yes, we think. We hoped you would come. Oh boy. Pathetic humans always like to keep things in cages. You kept me in your cage for decades. You tortured me, prodded me, took pieces of my flesh, stabbed me. I tried to talk to you, but you would not listen. You wanted your experiments. You wanted my blood, my flesh. And now I will turn your planet into a ball of dust. I will drain your powers like those before you, and the world will burn for the crimes you've committed. Damn it! You suck! I know. You suck! <laughs> Should we tell? No. Oh, no. Don't say anything. Keep it to yourself. Does he... Does his mouth move? Or is it in question? Broadcast is where I... Uh, you see his mouth moving, but, um, who's got mind control powers? I have mind transfer. You... Yeah. You kind of hear, like, when you hear stereo... You kind of hear a subtle voice in your head as well, but it's not that obvious, but you can pick up on it. Um, I'm sorry, what are you talking about? Who are you? I am Nemesis. That's what you can call me. But what are you referring to? We don't know what you're talking about. You know very well. Who did this to you? I can smell his about? stink upon you. Stink, uh, that, and we're in a sewer. <laughs> uh, we just come for a sewer to get here. That's probably why we stink. Who kept you locked up for decades? Your government, your people, your race. All of you shall die. <laughs> and with that... I was just thinking about whether... Um, Is there reason with this I run away? Uh, did you... You're only missing one power. You, 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 you have one power. As in a traditional exchange between villains and superheroes in a comic... Uh, often there is a little bit of banter yes. beforehand. So if there is anything else that you wanted to speak before uh, anything happens, you, you're welcome to. Okay. Where were you held? I, I just, I, 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 who, who would have captured you and how were you captured? Where are you from? Yeah. I am from a planet you've never even heard of before. As he continues to talk, I want to change the air, the, a pound of air in the front of his mouth into helium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, make a roll. Bob, Bob we've been talking about this for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if we were thinking ahead, we would have had a helium balloon for you. Make a roll, and uh, and all I need is a green. That's a very simple task. <laughs> thing is, I hope that he actually is speaking using my, my you know, my yeah. the air. Of course, insulting him is not really going to help us. Yeah, you know what? Nothing's going to help us. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Nothing's going to help us unless freaking... Nick Fury gets here. So a monstrous green is a 21 or higher. Uh, actually, I this is a remarkable for my... Uh, it is matter conversion. Oh, matter conversion. Zombies next week. Yeah, yeah no, we could be finishing up this up very quickly. We could be finishing this up very quickly. 33. Sorry, I didn't mean to sign that down. What number did you need? Remarkable. I don't actually have any... Powers. 36. Oh, you just missed. So nothing happens yeah, anyway when you tower. Correct. Uh, but you do take one point of damage, right? You oh, can do I add a failure? I do take it. Oh, excuse me. No, it's a failure. So okay. you don't take it. Only if you succeed. Okay. Uh, See, now if that die had fallen over him in a 39, I would have had it. Any other conversation before... Uh,
the heroic conversation before we get to the action? Prepare to meet your maker. We don't need to do this. If we don't want to fight you. You don't want why, to why fight. Did, why did you kill the other? Why did you be killing villains? Lies. Lies. All of it. You see, you don't want to hurt me, but that is all you do. That's all you've ever done. Years. We decades. Do we do not believe in that. I came here in peace. My people were peaceful. Your people are a plague. You are parasites. You cannot be allowed to leave this planet. I will make sure of it. We will make sure of it. He starts to laugh. <laughs> but what's weird is off to your left, left, you hear another laugh join him. <laughs> and what you see is a second him. Is it exactly the same, or can we act a little farther? He looks exactly the same. In fact, then you hear a third piece of laughter. <laughs> oh, he just stole my, my, my effect power. <laughs> he stole the powers of Googleplex. There are three of them. Ah, uh, good point, Chris. Oh, yeah. I bet you he can make it bigger and smaller and control capillaries. And yeah, what were the powers of the other ones? Okay, so I, 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 I see uh, I see two oh. options here. I like the option. Well, okay, three options. We could run. <laughs> we could duke it out. Or we could try we, we could try the classic TV show. Um, man short where we put down our weapons as a sign of peace. Sure, I put down my weapons. The bottom and then we pull it because we want to prove to him that we're not the oh, right ones. And I'm holding the helm. What is it that you need? If you need... To are you yeah, able to I'm, leave? I'm, we can help you get home. We can try. The time for talking is past. I tried to talk with you. I begged. I pleaded. I said we came in peace. You didn't talk to us. You, you took know, my blood. You took my like flesh. You. you prodded me. You stuck things within me. You thought, let's see if it would die underwater. Oh, wait a minute. Did they stick anything in your rear? They stuck things in me. That vibrated. What the hell sort of question is that? <laughs> that is ridiculous. So if I shove this rod in the your rear and we vibrated it, would that be a new experience for you? <laughs> <laughs> I like you. You're funny. You will die last. <laughs> if you think you can. Do you know the name of the people? Wait, you're right. I will die last. Do you know a man with one eye? They were in white. They all wore white, every single one of them. I killed them all. I killed them all. Oh. No. Oh, can it keep them talking? Well, the man with the eye catch made no Nick, help. Yeah. <laughs> you have no reception in the sewer. Nice job, Bob. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so... And with that, he, uh, he sort of points to uh, the Black Widow spider. Uh, he has the drop on you. He's been waiting. Isn't that like something that you're good with, Wilson? And the spider expands in size. It looks like much more of a threat. At the same time, uh, it seems like all the grays move on the same turn as, uh, as the primary gray. Uh, the, the next gray races over and attempts to tackle the nerd. Uh, nerd, just a reminder that you have the opportunity to dodge if you want to accept a minus two penalty to your next action. If you succeed on your dodge agility check, it'll give him a minus two to try to hit you. Uh, actually, I think it's minus one for green, minus two for yellow, minus three for red. Like um, so if you want to dodge him, right now is your chance. I want to give him a big, bad electrical charge bug. Um, if it hugs you, hold you, you, you can just dodge a gray. He's got, he's, it's, his, it's his turn. When your turn come up, you can do that to him, of course. <laughs> so are you going to dodge or just let him try to hit you? I don't know if try to hit me. Just okay. His agility is not good, but he does manage to wrap his arms around you. Yeah, I'm gonna see him do some damage to me, or I think I might do some reflection. Interesting. I was gonna say, can you reflect his energy drain back on? The attack may be of any nature, brute force, power, or magic. What I need you to do right now <laughs> is I need you to make an endurance check in the yellow. You feel weakened. You feel like... Well, I'm using my reflection. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh. Good thing I have an amazing endurance. Mm. 
That's not what she said, though. She just said roll over. It's a green. <laughs> it's a green to resist. 96. Oh, well done. Uh, with amazing, the 96 is a red. Now, the gray is approximately four to five feet in height and extremely thin. It's like, it's yeah, it's like a, like a, tw- a thin 11-year-old child is, is wrapping, hugging you. Uh, now, your endurance is very good. So, although you feel drained, uh, nothing else of, of interest happens to you, but you do take some damage. Um, you take approximately 15 points of damage. It's Very like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, and then the last gray uh, does the same thing, attempting to <laughs> attempting to wrap its arms around Mike the, Max the tank. Max, would you like to dodge? Fifteen, you said, Bob. Um, yep, one five. Max can't react by trying to punch it, right? I mean, the only reaction you can do is a dodge. Then you can definitely punch it when your turn comes you know up. I've got a pretty good endurance. Okay. So I'm going to attempt to dodge. All right. So uh, roll your agility. Green, yellow, red would be good. Is there endurance to me, not agility? Oh, sorry, my, are you my, dodging? My endurance. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if he hits you first then. Okay. Oh, 86. Oh, he, uh, he manages to put his thin, childlike arms around you, oh. tackling you. So, well, I want to try to dodge. Oh, well. well, you had to announce the dodge before he. Well, that's what I. That's what I oh, okay. About. So, so the deal is. No, the endurance is when he tries to do whatever that special power is once he's around you. But if you'd like to dodge right now, that's okay. Go right ahead. Roll your agility. Well, that's my agility. Okay. Mm-hmm. My agility is a thirty-seven. So he's still going to hit you if you decrease his rank by one. But if you decrease it by two or more, he will miss. So you need a, a yellow or red. So I need okay. to, just to clarify why Adam and I are laughing like little girls over here. Yeah. We're envisioning Princess Bride when he's fighting under the giant and he's hugging him. Sorry. It's funny. It's good. It's good. So that's really incredible. Really so uh, this is my agility, right? Yeah. So agility, incredible, thirty-seven. I need a yellow. Put yep. Or a red. You need a yellow or a red. Seventy-three. Seventy-three for incredible is a yellow. yellow. Nice job, just barely a yellow. Just barely a yellow. So you dodge out of the way, and he shoots right past you. Um, and so he's sort of in the middle now, um, and he's he's sort of disoriented. His turn is over. Uh, and now that's move. Mm-hmm. Or on your next action, unless you just choose to move. No, you get the negative for dodging. And speaking of which, uh, it is now your turn. Okay. So I want to go up and well, whack him. Turn, is it? Mine. Oh, it's okay. yeah. You went. Now it's it's oh, his. I, I, wait the next round. I want to go up and whack him in the head with the rod. Oh, nice. The rod of white whack. And actually, oh, yeah. as a matter of fact, I'd like to shove the rod through his head. Okay. Ooh. Are you going to make a killing blow? That's a cold shot. Yes. As a hero, knowing that killing is uh, sort of against your code? Um, I think Fury would like him back. I just started. I'm sure he would. Would like who back? The gray. Well, he, there's two more. No, there's only one. There's only one entire. This is Google Plex, like there's stuff. Yeah, so, so if I kill this one, it's really not going to matter. It's just not... What if, he's the, what if he's the primary? It's what if he's not. <laughs> I'm going to whack him in the head as hard as I possibly can. Okay. Uh, make a roll. It's going to be yellow. And he is going to dodge. Or try to. That would be just a fighting roll, right? A uh, fighting roll at a yellow. At a yellow. 46. He got a green. So you got to subtract your results by... Uh, well, let me know what your results are. We okay, shift I rolled 71. Shift down by one. So whatever your fighting roll is... So my fighting roll is... There's no way I got a yellow. So, so shift down by one. Oh wait, are you one day in? Yes. Yeah, one day in. So you have an inherent minus one right now too, I think, because you're one day in. I don't know, one day. I thought it was, I thought it was a second. Oh wait, day no, you're right. It's second day in. That's minus one. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the only minus one is from his dodge. Okay. So 
That would drop me down from an excellent to a good. Unfortunately, I need a 76. Oh. Oh. I uh. 71. Oh. So he was lucky he dodged, but he's going to take a, a minus two on his next action as well. You can also move. Um, okay. well, I mean, I don't want anything. I need to, I need to move. Where to? So I'm going to just shift over behind the nerd. Oh, okay. Thanks. Putting myself in front of the spider. It, yeah. Nope. Behind. Putting. Nope. Not there. Okay. Behind him. Okay. Oh, I see. Here, take that. Trying to attempt to keep the two greys occupied because the giant spider is about to take care of him. Okay. So yeah, like right behind him and right there. I gotcha. Uh, next one, Whisperer, JJ, uh, Triple J, what are you doing? You're moving forward? I'm going to defer. Okay, about there. No, no, no move forward, I'm deferring my move, I'm waiting. Oh, you're holding, okay. Then that means the next person up is uh, Android. Andy the Android, you're up, buddy. All right. We're going to move up a little bit? Okay. Oh, well, they're way back there. And I'm going to use my vibration energy emission. Okay. That's six squares. Yep. Uh, it is remarkable. It's going to do 26 points of damage. Okay. Up to you. Remarkable. I need a Okay. Holy moly. Who are you targeting? That is red. Oh. That close is gray. Okay. Uh, your normal damage with a vibration would be 26 remarkable. You rolled a red. That's triple damage. So you just did 12 plus 60, 72, 78. And that's the closest gray? Uh, you have taken out the closest gray. Yeah, Holy oh. crap. Da, da, da. Very impressive. And what did he do that with? The body of the gray. Oh, oh, okay. uh, it disappears when it falls to the ground. Oh, look what happened! I said it's to do the gray. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what happened! Look what happened! Don't get cocky. There are many copies of me. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. I'm waiting for it to all pop up on the screen. All right, who's next? Uh, who's up? Oh, uh, it's uh, Adam, Brian Baird, and uh, the Whisperer is on hold. He can come in at any moment. I, I think with my telekinesis, if I can lift 2,000 pounds, does that mean I can also exert 2,000 pounds of crushing force straight down on something? You can do the damage of whatever the power rank is, so whatever that number is. What's your telekinesis power? Uh, maybe that's, is that the 60 thing? Actually, I'll try to do that. Can you matter manipulate his body into water? I could, but I don't want to kill him. Yeah, you know, I would go, I would, if I, well, I think my energy emission vibration has a higher, uh, and not find my, my, my sheets. I feel like you took telekinesis to 26, but I can't remember. Yeah, that sounds about right. So that means you would do 26 oh, so points. That's well, incredible. But I, you know, okay. If I'm going to try and just kill a single target, I'm better off with my energy emission and shaking the shit out of it. Okay. Unless I should just push the, the spider back into the primary nemesis. How did Google Flex use the spider? If you like the spider is going to turn it all the size. Okay. I'm going to... Um, oh, sorry. Yes, sir. You, you, think it, you probably think it was something that he desired, and he probably created a second copy. Probably mental. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Mm. I want to—that's not my phone. I want to use my telekinesis. Yep. To push the the big black widow spider. Yep. Into the the first gray that we were talking to. Okay. The, okay. So that is a trick that I have. Pushing one enemy into another. Oh, by the way, uh, Jeff, you just achieved a red. So if you're keeping track of your power stunts, remember there's red, yellow, green, green, green. If you want to make shooting somebody with energy a power. Mm -hmm and you just got one of those check marks. When you have them all collected, you do that one specific move with a plus one shift. 36, 7, 7, 5. I did that with the yellow, which doesn't help. I already have yellow in that power stuff. Okay. So I, did, I did push the spider 
it's just the point is to knock it into the grave. And it happens to get collected on the grave, but that's not the plan. Okay. It, what is that green thing next to the grave? Uh, it looks it looks like a pool, like a vat. Oh, there might right. be acid in it. So uh, you can scroll up a little bit. Both into that, that or it might be the pool of regeneration. Pool of it looks like there's a skeleton. Uh, the gray uh, sidesteps, and the spider just barely gets onto the edge. It does have enough to go over. Agility check. Uh, it's got eight legs. <laughs> it, rolled, <laughs> it rolled very well. Fair enough. It skids to a stop just hovering over this pool of green. Did one leg end up in the... Oh. No. <laughs> just to see what happens. That would what be interesting. It's so big. Does uh, it roll its agility a little? <laughs> uh, Batman, you can move now if you like. Uh, I move... Uh, where's the... I don't even know who I am on here. That's me back there? Yeah. Oh, wow, I could, I could just barely pull that off with my line of sight. Uh, yeah, you're very lucky. Here. Go ahead and move yourself. Oh, I want to be behind it. Okay. okay. <laughs> I hide behind the seven-year-old. <laughs> That's very, her very heroic of you. No, I, will, I will be to the center. All right, so here we are now. It's going to be some of the insects, unless the Whisperer wants to go next. I do. Whisperer, go next. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> the main gray? Yep. I'm going to transfer his mind Ooh. into one of the rats. Oh. <laughs> oh! That is awesome. I love it. All right, let's see your roll. Yeah, so, it's going to be, uh, He's he's got a ginormous head, and as you might imagine, a, norm a ginormous brain. So his your... Brain is so big he couldn't break out of our government facility in seconds. You're going to need a yellow uh, to get the gray, so to speak. And a 10 is not going to do it. You got a 10? That ain't going to do it, bud. Oh, I am very sorry. You can still move. Oh, uh, no, I'm going to stay. Okay, scratch off the usage. Yeah. That was very clever, though. I have to say, prop to you for that. Oh, crap. I used my heavy mission power three times, so I got to take off three powers for that. Yeah. Uh, the spider scrambles back. Um, and it takes a bite at Josh the Nerd. Ooh, 95. Is that a red? Amazing. The Amazing Spider, 95 is just a red. Can he dodge? Oh, yeah, you have the option of dodging. I'll use my reflex power. Oh, yeah, that's true. You could try to reflect. Okay. So the damage that you would be taking if it hits is 40. Um, you really want to roll a good reflection. 73. Is that, this is really important. It's not, I don't think it's yellow. Because if, if it's green, you're going to take a portion of the damage, whatever, oh, over. 73 puts me in yellow. Oh. Mellow yellow. The second yellow square. Oh, well done. By, by so, and what is your uh, power number for reflection? It's remarkable. It's 26. 26. So 40. So because you rolled yellow, we're going to say you reflected double the amount in this case. So 26 times 2 is just barely going to put you over 40. It tries to bite you. Uh, its beak kind of bounces off of you, um, and it looks kind of a little surprised. It, it, for as a spider can look surprised, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, you take zero damage, and you notice that uh, there seems to be venom dripping off of the uh, fangs of this creature. Uh, okay, that's it for the spider. This we is interesting, Bob. The power can be used indefinitely so long as it isn't overcome by superior force. Yeah, I think though we've got it tied to your uh, to your weakness. You so, see so by rolling a yellow, that I reflect any damage back to the creature. Oh yeah, yeah, you did, you did. Is dripping the, from the fangs as if it is going to bite something, or as if it has been bitten? Excuse me. You did reflect damage back on the creature that bit you because you rolled a yellow. That's right. So it just took 40 points of damage. Um, it does not take any um, poison, poison damage, damage, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to immune to its own poison. You know, that 11 I don't know if all the spider went himself. Well, uh, that's true. I mean, they're all so, The female black widow, when she mates with her male, kills them and eats them and shows them for food for the... Oh, hang on. I think I have it on the wrong. That's the name Black Widow. 
There, now you'd be able to see... Oh, maybe you don't see a health bar yet. Yeah. the Black Widow came from the Black Widow spider. It looks like it's about halfway. It looks bloodied. <laughs> we'll go with that term. That's it for the spider. Uh, the insects roll in, and they surround uh, the tank. And the, s the rats also roll in, and they surround the nerd. Oh, yeah. One more. And a mass of rats covers Brian Baird as well. Aren't they just cousins? And we got one on the Android. So the one on the Android is a 49 with an amazing, which is going to be a green hit. Do you want to dodge or do you want to take the hit? What's the hit? What's the damage? Well, it's a rat, so you don't think it's going to be too bad, but it's a three-foot rat. <laughs> okay. In that case, you, you take 15 points and give me an endurance roll. And meanwhile, Brian Barrett, while well, he's rolling his endurance, I have a 35, um, amazing, which is a green. Do you want to dodge? This is a mass of rats, like a swarm. Yeah. Okay. If you get a green, you will cause it. How big is the ceiling here? Um, 10 feet. It's tr it's low ceilings. Did not make it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'll I'll try and dodge up. Uh, if you were human, uh, you would now uh, have contracted possibly some sort of disease. But congratulations, you are an android. Yay. Nothing happens. Uh, Hold on. Dodging with my agility. All right. How does my regeneration work? Uh, that's how many hit points you heal in a day. It's equal to your endurance. So it's 36 per day. Divide by. No, it divide by 24, and that's how many you heal per hour, right? So, and if you divide by 60, that's how many you heal in a minute. So it's not going to help you during a fight. I, I dodged. But I might have healed one since the blades. Um. You, you, Jeff, I, I heal 46. That's every hour. I heal one point. I don't think a half, half hour has passed. Hour. Yeah, you're less than a half hour. I get three an hour. Oh no, I get one and a half an hour. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think it's happened yet that you've got one point back. This one, agility is a dodge. A dodge is an agility check. Mm -hmm. I got green. You got green? All right. Then the swarm tries to swarm over you, but they you, you use your what little space you have left in the hallway, <laughs> and they kind of run under you. <laughs> but they start climbing the walls. <laughs> so they overshoot you, but they're climbing the walls, and they probably are going to try you again. Uh, meanwhile, Max the Tank... 79, gotcha. that's a yellow. Um, do you choose to dodge? Oh, you've already dodged once this turn already, I've already haven't you? Dodged once, so okay. So you take 40 points of damage from this, the claws of this creature, which and gives so you... I actually only take 6. Mm, what less, what's, your new, what's your new body resistance? Well, the new body resistance... Uh, no, I didn't change body resistance. <coughs> oh, okay. So you take. So that's 37. All right. So you take three <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Reroll initiative, everybody. Nothing attacked me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. You got an attack coming to you. It's a mess. 45? Yeah, it's a mess. What amazing is a hit green. Amazing. Do you want to dodge? What's amazing? It's amazing is a, fifth, uh, is a 46. That's amazing rap. It fights with a 46. Yeah, these things are pretty freaking powerful, dude. What's the damage? Uh, it would be 40. Can I reflect? Can I, re can I use this? You can reflect. It'll use a power, but you can reflect. I'm, running, I, I'm down to 50%. Already? Yeah, three punches wipes me out fast. But you killed three <laughs> things. 12. Oh. That's not a reflection. It does not reflect, sadly. You take 40 points. And give me an endurance roll, please. 68. Oh, good job. So you resist. If I take my 40 damage out. Yep. And roll your initiatives, please. Uh, 70, oh, yeah. 79, yeah. Initiative? I can do that. You do better than 9. I would hope so. Oh, no! No, I can't. In fact, I can do worse. Oh, come on. <laughs> put it in. One, two, four. 
We tied. I oh, my one. God. I had seven. That's not good. Oh, we have seven. I got a seven. We'll put your seven and then press on your That's cool. Back. Max? Twelve. Uh, vibrator? Red. Yes, you rolled one die. What did you get? Red. <laughs> you know, yes? No. Andy? Andy? Uh, and I rolled four. So what are you playing so intently? Rugby. Okay, everybody's in. Uh, my is gonna hold until the end of the round. <laughs> All right, the Gray go first, and uh, he. Did Chris go last game? Last oh, yes, he did. Yeah, he did. Uh, so the the Gray who was doing all the talking, he uh, causes he, he gestures at uh, the oh. bat, and the bat. Um, oh, yeah, you feel your feet leave the ground. Uh, you well, are, yeah. Now you're levitating. Uh, you are telekinesis is affecting you, and you are being drawn in the air in a duplication of the action that you just did uh, against uh, Max. So you're you're being thrown against Max. I'm wondering if I should use my vibration against him. That might not be a good idea. Okay, so um, the damage would well. First of all, do you want to dodge? No. Okay. He hits with a green, so that's the good news. Okay. The bad news okay. is... How much damage do I take? <laughs> it's, 20, take? it's 25. I don't think you're going to get hit at all. No. I get hit for half my health. Wow. Okay. The second gray um, reaches out and uh, tries to touch uh, the nerd. Oh, I touched myself already. 52. Amazing. 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 That's a hit on a green. Um, do you want to uh, do you want to dodge? If you dodge, even one shift, even a green dodge will cause him to miss. I used my reflection last time. Yeah. Well, so now he has that. Where do you mean he has that? He's using my. He's using telekinesis. Well, he could have gotten that from somebody else. He could have it. I'm hoping he doesn't absorb our powers. Like. You know, I think we have, have to set the stuff to happen. I hope so. Um, what's the damage? Uh, oh, the damage for his hit? Yeah. That was uh, 40. It would be 40? Mm hmm. Uh, I think I'm with you, Bob, on not giving us the damage before we have a chance to dodge. Yeah, I think that has to be the appropriate choice. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm just sort of weighing <coughs> the cost of karma and reflection and powers, and I'm still going to try to reflect. Okay. Because if I can reflect, I can hurt him if I reflect well. You have tough choices when people hit you, it's true. Because you can turn it into another weapon. 88. That is a hit. Is it yellow or red? I'm checking that right now. Remarkable. Um, 88 is in the yellow. Ooh, well done. Uh, he he he, he sh like freezes up, like he's just touched something shocking, and his entire body kind of freezes. He, ah, oh, damn you! He I seems know. to have taken some level of pain. Uh, that's for sure. Um, and could you kindly roll me a 1d4? Oh, come on. I don't want to lose the power. Oh, Ekarath, I take your breath weapon. Uh, energy emission, travel, uh, detection. reflection detection. 1, 2, 3, 4. Try to find a d4. <laughs> Sorry. One. What was one? Uh, energy emission. Oh. Uh, you still have your energy emission power. Okay. He just he just now has it too, though. <laughs> uh, that's it for the gray. Uh, the next up is Mike Max the Tank. What are you doing, Max? So Max is uh, sure. the the sure. the um. Four. So what's in front of you? Uh, right now, you've got two, a rat on your left, a giant uh, black widow spider all the way in front of you. Um, you've got the other gray that was talking. He's up there. Okay. And there's a couple of um, insect-like creatures behind you. Okay, I'm going to attempt. That gonna that's, a, that's a beetle. To, to jump on uh, the black widow spider. Okay. Uh, and using the rod, drive it. drive it down into the head. Agility check to see if you land on the jump. Okay. So my it's big, so you get Do a green. Okay. Do we want to take out the gray first? 
Uh, do you want to get bit by a black widow spider and die? Oh. <laughs> Stop with the logic. Uh, 97? <laughs> yeah, you, you can place yourself anywhere on top of that thing. You are sitting squarely on top of the black uh, widow spider. Like a, like a bronco. Like a you halfling on a dragon. <laughs> I would say like a halfling on a dragon. <laughs> All right, that's you on top of it. Okay, so then this would be my fighting? Yeah, and you're going to get a plus two shift because you are basically backstabbing. There's no way that you can miss this thing, really. Okay. <laughs> Let's switch this really the do. <laughs> so let's do. Don't forget the rod is plus five armor period, or plus five damage in armor period. <laughs> so, uh, 64. Oh, that should be a hit. Um, with a plus two, that will put me in a yellow. Oh, nice. So what's your strength? Uh, it is 19 base. 19 base. Yes. So double that. So that's 38. 38. And then you've got the plus 5 yep. armor piercing. Yep. So we're looking at 43, yep. which will drive through the carapace of the Black Widow. And uh, you have, you've just squashed the bug. It collapses to the ground. I have squashed the bug. Well done. I'm just going to take him off the board. Can you rip it set off as well? Uh, yeah. As a finisher, yeah, I'll let him yeah. do that as a yellow. <laughs> he rips the head off of the, uh, the the creature's abdomen, tossing it to the ground. Shit. You know no, how no, you know I'm thinking you do it. Your telekinesis has got the uh, things into the prey. <laughs> All right, so I have six monsters around me. You do, and it is your. It's uh, the android's turn. P90X. I mean, Andy. I think we go after. Okay, that was awesome. Six squares. Yeah, yeah, I think you jokes. Simple enough. You're dead now. You told me to kill a spider. I did to jump on it and get away from me. Uh, uh, of this one? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, the other one. You're in six squares right now of this one. Yeah. Alright, can I scoot you over one? To the right? Yeah. Yep. I have killed the spider doing exactly what you told me to do. One more? Sure. No, no, you got enough movement to do one more. But I don't think you can get too much farther. Alright, so I'm going to go after the top All right. Alright, go for it. I will resuscitate you. Like where you see him. Why don't you go run into something? You like that. What's your talent? I'm going to use 10 of my karma points. Okay. Very good. What are you doing? I'm going to use my energy emission. All right. I'm the top guy. You're blasting him, eh? Oh, yeah. Blasting him. Okay. He's going to teleport. He's going to teleport. Miss? Yeah, Even with the 10? Yep. Oh, that's too bad. Well, at least you didn't critically miss. Nerd, you're up. Can you do, I don't, no, it's the, the opportunity tax then. I don't know. Well, I'll have to ask. Ask. So, I, I know it's not the nerd's turn, but if he was to delay it, it would be it my is turn. Now, it is now his turn. If he was to delay it, it would be my turn. Mm -hmm. If I lifted him out there with telekinesis, would they get a tax on him as he leaves the square? They wouldn't know. <laughs> so, I mean... I'm, I would say that they probably would get an attack, but maybe at a, at a slight penalty. I'm not through a slight. Maybe you should try to kill as many as you can before I get you out of the way of the rest of them. You do get multiple attacks. Yeah, so I have ten. I have ten powers left. Oh. God. I'm you gonna hit the gray twice and one of the other creatures once. All right. Is that a scorpion? I'm gonna put the scorpion. It is a scorpion. I need the scorpion the third time. All right, gray. We'll just do the double. Seventy-two and sixty-eight, which are both gotta be. I think those might be yellows. Yeah, I'm gonna check that right now. You're remarkable. Yes. Those are yellows, buddy. Do I need to roll? <laughs> um, we could not. Well, now that you've already rolled, it wouldn't be fair. But those are both hits in the yellow. Points. You're going to do double damage on both. You have plus one CS. Is that pushing red right? because of your uh, feet if you're charged? Well, I have. I mean, my value is 30. My oh. strength is 26. Oh, yeah. Times two. So that's 56 times two. That's more than 100. Times four. Times four, four right. Knows Chris has. <laughs> so I obliterated him. You have just taken it out, and he disappears as well. And now for the scorpion, sure. Yep. Or we'll just pick one. Oh, wait, I'm right there, too. Uh, this is just a regular punch. I'm not using a charge. Okay. 75, which is... Uh, uh, That's fighting. a yellow, I think, fighting. Yeah. My fighting is incredible. Yeah, it's yellow. And your strength is? 26. Jeez. Nice roll, buddy. You just killed the scorpion as well. You know how I said I was going to pull you on there? Yeah, yeah. I lied because I realized I'm right there next to you. I don't want to be <laughs> All right. So I burned two powers. I killed the gray and you, I killed the gray. And you can move if you want. 
what, they all going to tax against me. So no. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Brian Baird, you're up. Can I use my telekinesis to push all those rats away? Yes, absolutely. Okay. It'll be a yellow. Awesome. Push them as hard as you can against the wall. That's Use a pounds of force. Flat rat. I try to make flat rats. <laughs> rat pancakes. Did you go yet? Mm -hmm. okay. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, and you What is my telekinesis? Oh, okay. What? What's what? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Chris. I should have been more slick. Don't say anything. Well, you got a red. All right, so here's... There's three things that happen. Number one, all three of them are lifted into the air and forced backwards with extreme force against the wall. They are winded and stunned. But what you did not know is that wall was very similar, is a trap, just like the other wooden wall. A spinning blade comes out, slicing all of the rats in diameter, and all of these rats in range of the blade are now cut in half. Yeah, you've got, you've got ratlets now. That was a very lucky move on your part. Nicely what done. That still next to me? That's that's Brian. Yeah, I, was, I was kind of thinking like, oh, oh. I, was, I was using the force. I've never seen the force in two different directions at the same time. Uh, no, you couldn't grab that guy. I, you might have done a red to grab them all. I did do a red. Oh, but you only you only targeted three though. Yeah, if you said four. If I said that I could have done it with a red. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I just said the one. So that was a good move. So take them off the board as well. And now uh, you can move, or it's uh, the Whisperer's turn. Uh, I will... Is that an opening to the left? Where? Like uh, here? I can't see it. Oh, hang on. Direction. Wrong guy. Yeah, there is an opening to the left. Right, I will move... Yeah, I like there is good. Away from that bush. Okay. That shouldn't be in a sewer. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's, it does look like it's like weeds that have overgrown. Maybe they've been made larger in size. Who can say? Can we see further up? Can we, can we scroll? Can we yeah, you guys can scroll if you want. Oh, there's a giant skeleton. skeleton in there. Bob, did you draw this map? <laughs> I didn't draw any map for any of these campaigns. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Seriously? No. You found all of them. Well, I, I added stuff. Like, I found, a, I found a drawing of a, pat, of a pit of acid, and I added it to an existing map. Oh, shoot. I don't mean that. Uh, no, okay. could have been a pit of acid before. Now it's a pit of uh, I've got one rat... So the rat attacks the nerd. Oh, Sorry. I don't well I don't think. Maybe a fifty six is gonna miss on amazing. It's not gonna miss no. on amazing. It's a hit. Uh, it's forty. Unless you choose to dodge. Have you dodged yet this round? Reflecting. Oh reflecting, right, right. Oh, thirty two. I don't know. Is it remarkable? I think it's remarkable, yeah. It's a miss. I'm sorry. Take forty. Forty? And roll endurance. Well, I'm going to use the problem right to only take 20. Okay. I am. I'm going to use the pool. Might take 20 out of 20. Oh, got it, yeah. Okay. Whisperer, you're up. Uh, I'll actually need to run. He's attracted 30 so far from the pool. That's what he's aware. All right, I need to roll my endurance. Just 70 left. Jeez. 78. 78. 78. Oh, okay. You, you succeed once again. Yeah, you feel fine. Whisperer, what are you doing, buddy? I'm going to once again uh, try to switch minds with the, uh, the gray. All right. Switch, switch the gray's mind into the little, tiny little bug. Okay. okay. Roll it for me. You need a yellow. Yeah, 17. Gosh, that sucks. Maybe put karma next time. Maybe. Okay, do you want to move? Am I close to a horde of rats in front of me? Oh, yeah, you're right next to a horde of rats. <laughs> you... Probably not going to move. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Initiative. What do you guys got? I better, better got something better than the lizard. Yeah, I know. Right? You're only 3D10 for Oh, the gray rolled poorly. 16. You beat the gray. I didn't. 13. Uh -huh. right. 20. Max. Wow. Very impressive. It's funny because your name is Max. <laughs> I know. 
I can't move it. I can't. Is everybody's entries in? No, no one's right. Oh. You got Jim, no, yours. I got mine in. That's it. I want you to know I took my character's name from one of my EMT students. Jeff? I'm going to 20. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. I had 13. Interesting. Mike had 20. And Andy had 13. And he was running. He was running. Training for the sniper school. Oh, wow. And he was also training for the... To, if that Jeff, didn't work out, I have six. he's going to be in cheek because he wanted to go into the pararescue. Is right. that uh, the guy who's an active uh, member right now? Yes. He just got married? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. I won't yeah. say any last names. Chris, what you got? That's exact, that's I exactly where about. I got the idea from. For the military thing and the name and the whole line. Chris, what did you get for this? Two. Chris, you did just as good as last time. Chris, wow. here's my Christian dice. Okay, so we've got Mike the Tank, and we've got the Nerd going first, followed by the Gr What are you guys doing? Trying to find the map. Too high. Thanks. Yeah, you want to go until it's halfway down the... There you go. Halfway down the page. Okay, get over the bar. The map, yes. Max is going to attack the Gray. Okay. He's going to brain drain Roll it. He's right next to you. He's got a green. Yep. So or you've got a green to hit. Green to hit. I'm going to pick your cat the hammer. This is just wow. fighting, right? Yep, just fighting with a green. Okay. Fighting with the green. I thought we were fighting with gray. <laughs> you got to get a green to get the gray. In the brown. Nice. 92. Oh, is that a red? I don't know. Uh, no. I need a... 95. Okay. Um, so you've got a yellow. So definitely yellow. All right. So you hit him with the bar. It's armor piercing. He doesn't have much armor on him. What's your strength? Uh, strength is 16. So the damage is 16 plus the 5. So a 21 armor piercing, and you have stunned him with your yellow. That's a very good hit. Oh, uh, it's a blunt weapon. So you can, you can choose to double damage or stun, whichever you prefer. Uh, I kind of like stun. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was, you know, if you go back to the D world, stun sucked. I know. I know. Yeah, no, yeah. no, I kind of like stun in this world. Uh, I'm hoping that means he can. Mm. He does not. He does not dodge. Okay, Josh. I mean, the nerd, you're up. Alright, am I capable of punching what's next to me and then moving and then hitting twice more? Yep. Alright, so I will attempt to punch the rat next to me. Unless you want to just run and uncharged. try to put all your punches. Uncharged. Uncharged. Thirty-three. Oh. Damn, Jack. Got to hit, hit with a green. Okay, so. Did you hit? Uh, it's by fighting, right? It's fighting. Incredible. Yes. Okay. So What's your strength? Strength is twenty-six. That'll just barely knock him out. The rat is gone. Yes. Okay, rat's gone. Now I move up to smack the gray twice. All right, you're there. Roll your uh, two. It's going to be green both times. Should I charge it or should I just? Uh, I would. I would try Do I get a bonus because he's stunned? Uh, he's not dodging, so you you the dodging. He's not dodging. That's your bonus. Okay, so, so I'm gonna bonus for that. Uh, I'm not gonna charge. If he was on the ground, I only have eight left. I'm not. I'm not wolfing. If that. something comes out afterwards, so I'm not gonna dodge. I'm wolfing about something. Uh, you're not gonna stun me. Ninety-six and fifty. Really. 96 is a hit. Is that the red? Don't read these yet. Okay, so fighting, incredible, 96 is red. Really? Yes. Triple damage. Okay, add up your damage for me. And the other one was... No, I won't. No, what was the other one? 60, uh, 96 and 50 under incredible. Okay, so it's triple damage? Yes. So it's 104. Okay, and, and I need to know... I no, need no, it's, it's, it's 70, it's, it's, 70, it's 26 times 4. Because the triple oh, yeah, is 104. 104. I said that, that's it. That's Sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot to do Mike's damage. I was just confirming. Well, you're saying triple damage, and you see gave one number. I was giving you confirmation. I, I did all the math. And I wasn't questioning you, like, <laughs> I <Adam> constantly <laughs> questioned you. No, 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 I don't do this. I just go make some calculator on the phone. The last thing that you hear from Gray is, ah. And it falls dead to the ground, motionless. You stare at the carnage. The moment that it does, the insects reduce in size, and they're no longer any threat to you whatsoever. Um, 
and they scurry off. Uh, the rats do the same. They seem like they are no longer directed and they sh they small in size and they go out towards the nearest source of shade. Uh, and it appears that you have defeated the nemesis. Appears. Okay. Appears, yeah. Um, I want we to immediately bind its hands and gag it and blindfold it. Okay. And you know what? I also want to... I, I want to vibrate. I want to use my vibration control on mm -hmm. that plant down there. I want to rub it together. And I have to set it on fire. It's going to vibrate things until they rub together? I'm going to, rub, I'm going to vibrate it until it rubs together and hopefully sets it on fire. That's my goal. Okay, the, the plant begins to smoke. And all of a sudden, the air starts to kind of kind of waver a little bit and blur. Um, and then it almost seems like like something feels just completely wrong with the world. You feel like... Why would you do something like that? Do you know like... Do you know like when you scrape your fingernails on a chalkboard and there's a feeling that that evokes? More than the sound itself, there's a feeling deep inside of you that just feels unsettled and incorrect. You feel that for just a moment and suddenly there's a blink and uh, you feel a little disoriented. Chris, that email that I sent you earlier, I want you to open up that email now, please. Earlier, i got to find that real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, and at this point, uh, here's what we are going to do. Uh, you see, as you can see right there, yourselves. You've just blinked into existence. Um, but you don't quite look like what you're used to. You're not wearing your costumes. You're wearing some other clothes. They don't look familiar. They look a little dated. Um, also, the other thing you notice right away is Andy the Android. Mm -hmm. missing one arm. He's missing an arm. It looks like he's been in a bad fight, and he saw the bad end of it. Um, well, we know it's in New Mexico. <laughs> and, uh, and now, at this point, what I'd like you to do... Chris, have you got that email? Got it. All right. I am going to say a number. And when you, you can look at your sheets, uh, when you see that number, oh, wow. you are playing the role of your future self. <laughs> now, I am going to pause for about two or three seconds in between each number, giving the you of the present a chance to respond. Is everyone clear? So I'm going to go one, and then Joshua, or whoever is first, will say whatever the future self says. I will give you a couple of seconds for someone to respond if you like, and then I'm going to say two, and the next person goes. Does everyone understand? Wait, are we seeing ourselves? You are seeing, look at the map. There's duplicates of you. And you're seeing yourselves, and you don't look like yourselves. Andy the android is missing an arm. You're, oh, okay. n you're not wearing your, your costumes. You're wearing other clothes that look dated. Does that make sense? All right, any questions? One. Greetings, heroes. Who, who are you? Two. Is that what we said last time? I can't remember. Three. It doesn't matter. Whatever you say right now off the top of your head will be what you said last, what you said back then. <laughs> Four. This is effed up. I feel a huge sense of deja vu right now. What, 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 what time did you guys come from? How, are, how, in the future, how far in the future are you from us? Five. My head hurts. Six. We are you from the future. How far? We have terrible news. Oh, great. Seven. You guys screwed up. How do we win? Eight. Seriously? What do we screw up? Nine. Eft everything up big time. Ten. You think but it's going to be all right. <laughs> Can you be a little more helpful? I don't look all right. Eleven. Guys, it's, count, it's on countdown mode. We've got 60 seconds left. Listen, there's no time to explain detail, but you have to believe us. Twelve. So what do we do? I wouldn't believe you. You kind of look like a tool. <laughs> What's this? You kind of look like a tool. Right. Right. Kind of, sorry. That was yeah. we'll look at the same Thirteen. Thing. Uh, how do we make them believe us? Fourteen. Do the same thing we did last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I know what this is. Fifteen. Excellent. This, this is really weird. Whisper, check our pulse and heart rates. Are we lying about this? I go ahead and do that. 
Uh, why don't you roll me a, a, a sound uh, detection? It's going to be okay. I rolled a 93. You rolled in the red, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you, sure. you checked the heartbeats and the pulses of the, the people who claim to be from the future, and you have the ability to tell somebody's lying based on their heart rate. These people do not appear to be lying whatsoever. What number were we just on? <laughs> I think it was 15? 15 or 15. 14, I said do the same thing as last time. Yeah. And then 15 was the whisperer? 15 was yeah. the whisperer. Future whisperer telling past whisperer to check your heart rates? Yeah. 16. Right. The timeline, I should be doing this in, 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 in speech, but I won't do it to you. Oh, come on. Too. I like the this. The timeline has been altered. You think it's over, but what you don't know is that it, hasn't, is that it doesn't work. He absorbs powers. He took the powers of Wooly Mammoth and Googleplex. He duplicates himself. You can't kill him. None of these versions are the original. He has copies right now in Chicago, Paris, London, even Israel. In one year, the Earth will be lifeless. Everyone you know will be dead. Where's the original one? Seventeen. But we fixed it. Well, you will fix it. As you may have guessed, the nemesis isn't from Earth. He's an alien. He crashed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1957 on July 7th. He was an advanced scout for his race. He was on a survey this mission. His race is peaceful. The government captured him, and they experimented on him, and he went mad. He escaped in 1984 and has been a villain ever since. But if you can go back and keep him from being imprisoned by the government, we think that you can prevent this from having happened. 18. <laughs> from turning him into a super douchebag, you mean? <laughs> How do we go back in time? 19. Take this. It's on a timer. He crosses something deep. Take this! It's on a timer! You're going to want to set your zoom to about, uh, ooh, 30%. Tell me, tell me, tell me it's the Omni. Move the uh, turn order so you can see it. Tell me it's the Omni, Bob. We'll have to see. Oh, we're... Zoom's going to be... Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else know what I'm talking about? It's got to be a Doctor Who thing. Uh, travelers? Voyagers. Voyagers. Very good. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh, what number was that? 18? No. I did 19? 19. 19. I, I did 19. 20. Uh, the Andy from the future goes Andy from the past. It's unavoidable. I'm sorry. <laughs> 20, 21, I think, is next? Mike to Mike of the past. Check the whole back classrooms before you go. Also, it's the girl. Also, watch out of the fourth door. Oh, I love those cryptos like that. Can I be more specific? Oh 22. Good morning. Nah, what the hell? The Powerball lottery number is 6, <laughs> 15, 3, 32. Give us the date. All of a sudden, uh, let's see. Make sure I get this right. <laughs> Everything immediately goes dark. Oh, boy, your time is perfect, Bob. <laughs> I just want to... Ready? Everything immediately goes dark. You feel as if you're floating with no sensation of your body. You cannot move. You cannot see in the conventional sense. You can feel at first an intense pressure pushing down upon you all, on all sides. It feels like your cores have become their own centers of gravity. It builds. You begin to feel pain. I need you all to make an endurance check. Just need a green. Chris, can you hear me? Yeah, I did not get a green. Okay. Those of you who failed, so the only person who failed right now is the Whisperer. Okay, Whisperer, you go unconscious. Uh, what, 
What is your endurance? Did you get that? That may not be a bad thing. Alright. You no longer, for those of you who have survived, you take 10 points of damage. If you passed your endurance deck, you take 10 points of damage. And those of you who have fallen unconscious, this is where your memory stops. But the rest of you keep going. You no longer have any sense of your body, but the pain is enduring through everything. It pulses, it burns, it freezes, it simultaneously shut and dark. It's both cold and hot, and you cannot tell if it's day or night. You cannot see to move. The pain is on any. And even other things get this time, you gotta hit the Oh, hang on. Uh, I forgot to mention one thing. The android, you are ruling all of these checks as if you were class 3 5. You got a green? Wait, did I take the one on the farthest right? Is that... Oh, you're beyond. You only got beyond that. Brian Baird, you have fallen unconscious. You know no more. Everybody who succeeded takes 20 points of damage. You can, if you like. Yep. All right. As long as uh, Mike's keeping track of the pool. Uh, it was, uh, 20, yep. At this point, the pain is the worst you've ever felt. Time seems to pass without end. The feeling almost want to make, makes you want to die. You would not wish this upon your worst enemy. One final endurance check, and you gotta hit a wall. Fall unconscious. Okay, you're unconscious. Everyone is unconscious now except for the end. The pain has become manageable. It's not a big pain. It's become unconscious. You focus in. Your mind is a passion against the blood water and intense misery. Time passes. You now face a new enemy. Boredom punctuated in a period of extreme pain. And the psyche turns. Really? Would you? How often? How often were you off? You need a one. No, on a beyond, you fail on a one. Yeah, see, you're right. You just gave one. I have you the offer now of how you want to pass the time. I just think you wrote a book. Instruction manuals. Uh, you may want to spend some time learning the skill. But it can't be a physical skill. It's got to be a knowledge skill. You can suddenly become a PhD in biology, what have you. Is there, is there anything that your former self told you that you should do? 
The first thing that you sense is the weight of your own body. You awaken. Uh, so you can choose. Oh, I'm the perfect. Another year older and deeper in debt. You can choose uh, later. What is that skill that you sort of occupied while you sort of existed in limbo for one year? You know, like, way to go. You learned how to play the flute. I'd like to point out that if any of you had survived, there was a chance that you would have been driven mad, experiencing nothingness, sensory deprivation for an entire year. I think the only person who might have been able to survive this experience and be conscious what might be the android. Um, that was blessed. That was blessed. Is our hair all long and our nails long? And like, do I actually have a mustache? I think it was a, a relative time experience, not actual time. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second. The jaunt. Uh, I think the jaunt, right? You awaken. The first thing you sense is the weight of your own body. It feels very strange. Next, you notice light. You aren't certain if 10 seconds have passed or 10 years. The whisperer has a splitting headache. You all taste copper in your mouths. You think that you can hear music. You are naked. Your clothes are gone. Uh, Brian Baird. You find on the ground 45 cents. Uh, Max the Tank, you find next to your body $3.27. Uh, Whisperer, you are totally naked. There is nothing on the ground next to you. Uh, nerd, there is one item on the ground next to you. It is a business card. It reads, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. It has a phone number. And uh, uh, Andy the Android? You kept your items inside of you, right? In a compartment in your leg? All of your items are there and intact. <laughs> He's got a hollow leg. <laughs> uh, if you, we're, we're almost done with today's session. If you want to make an intuition check. I actually didn't have anything, so it really wasn't any big deal. Where was the rock? My phone. Intuition? 68. 56. Those of you who got greens are better? Yep. Yeah. Uh, and who has who has money? I, do. I have thirty four cents. And you both have it? I have three dollars and twenty seven cents. You okay. notice that all of the money, all of the currency the latest date on it is the latest date on it is nineteen fifty six, nineteen fifty four. Is there a dollar there? Is yeah. There there yeah. Yeah. But. And you hear something. Oh. Ryan Baird, this is what you see. Uh, auditorium full of people dressed as cowboys and Indians and weird costumes. Hey, Daddy O! That is a boss costume you have right there. You are definitely going to win the competition. Okay, That's. I'm still a bat. <laughs> uh, meanwhile. Yeah, happy Halloween, buddy. Uh, let's see, who's next? This is what uh, you're also able to see, Brian Barrett. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see somebody playing. It might be. Uh, however, there's one of you that is outside, and I think uh, that might be the end. Uh, you see a piece of paper on the ground. There's a bit of a wind. Almost too good to be true. The 58 Chevrolet, coming out soon. You scan quickly for a date on that newspaper. What does that date say? Thursday, October 31st, 1957, Wiggins, Stone County, Mississippi. And just so you know where you are, Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, you guys gotta click on roll 20. Well, someone is. Uh, Brian Baird is inside of a high school gymnasium. It appears to be some sort of Halloween dance. People are dressed in costumes. You had to turn down the uh, music. Sorry, Chris. Hang on. Yeah. How's that? Good. They start to play another song. Uh, Brian Baird sees a bunch of people dressed in various costumes. already happened. The crash already happened. We have to, we, he's, we in, the rescue, he's in captivity. We have, to, we have to free him. The date is Halloween, October 31st. What are you saying? So the, the crash in New Mexico was on July 7th, so the crash has already happened. We oh. can't prevent the crash. You've overshot? We just have to do the rescue. Hmm. So you are in the high school auditorium. You can see the band in the bottom left-hand corner. If you go a little farther north, Outside, to the right, you can see Andy, P90X, a naked boy standing on a street corner underneath a spotlight. Uh, you know, the 50s is so that bad. In, the, in the northwest, uh, you can see that the Whisperer has arrived on the, in the middle of the street. Start naked. Start naked. If you scroll farther down, all the way down, you can see the nerd you have found yourself in the middle of a classroom, an empty, abandoned classroom. Um, and to the far right, inside a bathroom, around the corner from the auditorium, uh, Max the Tank, you are in a stall, but you hear somebody outside. And you peek out, and you can see a man dressed as a uh, cowboy. <laughs> and I think uh, this is where we will leave you tonight, at a high school dance, on October 31st, 1957. You have the most important clues for us. Check the classroom, something about the girl. Watch the door. Homework, you can get you. I can move around freely. I don't have to wait up close. You guys are not able to communicate with each other right now. You don't know where, where anybody is. Did you want to handle a little of this via email? No, I think we pick up where we leave off uh, next time. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to figure out when the next session is. You guys had fun? I'm oh, yeah. sorry to make you stay up late. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. It was so worth it. It was very cool. So very uh, cool. Is there any chance you're going to send us that Word document with every part of it?